Hello there, John Hall from Right Here Pens, and today we're going to be having a look at this, the Endless Retractable Fountain Pen. So, numbers of questions here. Who are endless? We'll find out. Why retractable fountain pens? Well, we'll have a word about that. Is it any good? That's the big one. Let's have a look. Right then, Endless Stationery um, are an Indian stationery company who for, well, certainly a year or two have been producing very high quality notebooks, the Endless Recorder series, um, initially using Tomo River paper and more recently their own paper, which uh, turns out to be very good quality, just right for fountain pens. And they've decided to make this retractable fountain pen, the Endless Pen. As you can see, beautifully presented, absolutely beautifully presented. So we've got a wonderful box here with a very smart outer. There we go. And then the box itself is absolutely gorgeous. And the pen is very nicely presented inside here. You'll see that there's a standard cartridge there. And we also have instructions on filling and taking to bits from one thing and another. So we'll go through how it works in a few minutes. Why retractable fountain pens? I suppose that's another question that's worth asking. Um, well, I suppose it's attempting to move on from the incredible convenience or copy the convenience of the essentially cheap green retractable where you just press a button and you can write with it, and you press another button, and you can't, because the nib is retracted, meaning it is out of harm's way, and you're not going to get ink anywhere you don't want it. If you hear strange noises off, it's my cat, um, Tiggy, who's taken up the other end of this table. So anyway, as you can see, it's a very nice design, Smart looking, not over the top by any stretch. On the outside we see, well, how many sides are there? I think there's six sided, five sided. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five. Five sided, okay. Um, the nib comes out, there's quite a large button at the end here to operate it. We've seen the cartridge, so we know it will take a cartridge. And we'll have a look in a moment and see what else it would take. Now, one of the things that occurred to me initially is that, there we go, there's the nib. It's a bit hidden by the, well, you call it, um, you call it a section in many other pens, but no, you're not gonna hold that, I don't think. You're going to have to hold this pen here. I don't really see it's possible to hold it at the far end there. But never mind, let's see how that works out in practice in a moment. In a moment. But before we do that, we're going to take a look inside and see what's going on there. So to get in, we unscrew. And we see, now this is a bit reminiscent of the Pilot Capless vanishing point as they're called when you use a cartridge with them you put the sort of metal cap on the back of it to make sure that the mechanism will work but what's hiding away here on this occasion is a converter not the smartest converter you'll ever see but a converter nonetheless and here we have the nib here and the design does appear to be following the same Principles as the pilot capless. So there we are. Now, I suppose the next thing to see is how well it fills. As I say, it's a bit of a. I think crude is not a not not a kind word, but it's a fairly basic converter. So we're going to have a look at this trusty bottle of very old Sailor Gentle ink. Well, maybe we better do what you do. 
with this stuff. Now, I mean, retractables have become quite popular over the years. Well, popular, I don't know if that's right. Um, Pilot have been making them, oh, ever since the Tokyo Olympics before last. And they work absolutely beautifully. They have little gold nibs and um, they work. They're lovely. Let's see how we get on here. Well, we've got a bit of a fill there, and I think that will do for this test. I suspect if you pump away, you might get a bit more in. Oh, we'll give it a go. Oh, yes, there we go. So it's a small converter, but I think, as you can see, you can fill it up pretty much completely, which might be a dangerous thing to do with a pen like this, but let's wait and see. So we have... Here we are. Just put the cap back on there. Tidy up here. The nice thing about retractables is that you take all the mechanism out. So the bits that you touch, you don't actually ever put in contact with the outside of the pen. As always, I've managed to get ink on myself. But there we are. Yeah, that little bounce there, it's the whole mechanism moving. Which is a relief to me, and I'm sure it is to you as well. So here we are. There we go. That's not... There we are. No, that's not quite there, is it? I think it probably does matter where you start this, because there is a little bit that appears to want to line up. Let's try this. There we go. We're there. Okay, you can see that everything is lined up as it should be. Of course, what I didn't mention was the rather nice little clip here. Serviceable. Well, I've actually tried this in my shirt pocket and slightly surprisingly, it fitted extremely well but here is the critical bit what are we going to do here we're going to write a little bit so right given the fact that it is my cat that's been around we'll avoid the fox It's not the greatest nib I've ever felt. This is a this is a medium nib. Oh, actually, I'm, yeah, okay, getting better. Right, okay then, um, I felt at first as if it was a little bit rough and there's certainly a lot of feedback. Always a relief when you get to the end of the alphabet and it does each letter. Ah, oh, I'm starting to get into this, it's quite pleasant. And it's not too bad to write with. I'm just going to sit down now, I've been standing up. Hopefully we're nicely in focus. So, I originally had thought that the fact that the nib is surrounded by, well, what would be the section, as I say, but the nib holding part of the pen might be a problem. But I'm not sure it is, because this is actually working quite well. I also thought initially it felt a bit rough.
And well, this is um, this is a monocle notebook, monocle by like term. So the paper is good, not the smoothest in the world. There is certainly feedback from the nib. Um, so if you're looking for a buttery smooth finish, this is not the pen for you. I'm not quite sure where the nibs come from. Um, the design, as you probably noticed, was very similar to the Pilot design, where the metal part of the nib is essentially crimped around the feed. So, but it seems to be working very well, actually. And now I've got it moving a bit. This is good. I've got to say, Oh, I was about to say, I should have stuck on four, really, shouldn't I? Which is a bit of a test for any pen to continue to flow. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Um, I suppose extended writing, you might even do better than this. So, yeah, OK, I like it. Feels OK in the hand. Um, it depends where you like to hold your pen, I suppose. And this feels about right for me. So I was nervous about this when I first looked at them yesterday. I got to say, I thought this was going to be an issue. I thought the fact that the nib was a bit hidden away was going to make it difficult to write with, but it's not. It feels absolutely fine for me. Now, the other thing that we ought to look at, I suppose, is how the nib is protected, because Kaplan's pens, obviously, if you just closed it and that was that, there would be a risk of the pen, well, and the uncertainty of the pen drying out. But as you can see here, there is a nifty little cover that folds back when the nib comes out, but clips back down again. I'm not quite sure why it's got that little bend right at the end. Do you see what I mean? I'm sure it does fulfill some purpose, but that is not quite clear to me at the moment. Not at all all clear what that is. So anyway, where do we go from here? I think we've got to say this is actually quite a nice little pen and it's got the convenience of a retractable but not the price and this is the remarkable thing about this pen. This comes onto the market at £50 to you. And I think for £50, this is a really nice little bit of machinery from a new company from India. And I think we should encourage this, actually. I think this is a very fine pen. So I would urge you to get onto the website and buy one. At present, sizes are a bit limited, actually. We've got mostly fine nibs and I will at some point test the fine nib and give you a little update on that but for the time being I've got to say I think this is a very fine pen I offer you the endless and I forgot to tell you what it's called the endless creator because it's the pen that you create with I suppose you draw you write all the creation comes from the pen and there is no better pen and a fountain pen, and this one is enjoyable, fun, and does, in my view, an extremely good job. The Endless Creator.